What's up guys? Uh, working on the Jeep today. I ordered a couple things. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to put this on because I, I looked up some videos. I uh, didn't like the quality of them. Not saying mine's going to be better, but I'm going to talk about some things uh, that matter and tell you about some things that really doesn't matter. Um, so, here we go. So, don't mind my Jeep, I've really got to clean this up when I get done. So, I've ordered these four inch seat extensions. I ordered them off eBay. I looked at the, uh, some American made, looked Chinese made. I looked all over the place. And <clears throat> I just didn't see the point of spending 140 bucks for uh, two pieces of metal that I could really just build myself. So. I ordered these with the intentions that if I got them and the welds or the bins um, looked like a bad quality, these, these are just bins, they're not welds, so no welds to worry about. They were cut on a plasma cutter. It's very cut and dry. Um, there's one, there's one of the brackets that's offset. Let's see if I can get a view of that. You can kind of see, it goes on that side, it goes on that side. I couldn't get these to fit any other way. I thought maybe the shorter, shorter flat spot here would fit up on here, but it doesn't. So there's these uh, spacers that go underneath and they hold the head of the bolt. This one right here, I had to drill out one size bigger for that, um, for that bolt to fit. Not quite sure why, but it was a different size. Um, so, I mean, that's pretty much it. It holds these bolts. I'm just gonna set the seat in and I will show you. But these were cheap off eBay, run of the mill stuff. Uh, I'll let you know if I have any issues in just a moment. Oh, one thing I did have to do, this, the seat belt uh, signal, it was tabbed in right there and I could not keep it there. This bar hit it, so I had to pull this out. So that's something to take into consideration. Um, I could probably take it loose and move it down to here and pop it in. Wouldn't be a big deal. I'm not suspecting it being a big deal. So, here's what it is. Be right back. I know you can't tell, but uh, I am I am six foot. And I can stretch my legs, which is amazing. I've always I had to ride kind of crunched up with my knees up. <laughs> Let me show you those finished products here. Sorry, I'm doing this with my cell phone. So here's the finished product. One back right there. Um, and you can see the difference. So if you're used to, um, I don't know, you can tell. You can tell the seat's way back where it was. I don't know. Um, what are you going to need for this? You're going to need a T50 Torx. T50 Torx for the one bolt. All right. Um, and a half inch drive and a half inch socket. The bolts that come with it, the nuts and everything, also a uh, half inch socket. So you don't need any special tools once you get together. Um, the nuts are lock nuts, not the nylocks. Um, but the type, I wish I'd shown you. It's the type that uh, lock into the metal and it won't allow it to come back out. It's got teeth on it. I don't know why they sent uh, lock washers, tiny little lock washers, kind of weird. So, didn't use those. A couple extra things that you don't need. I mean, it's a cheap company. They just throw stuff in and say, go for it. Wow. And, I don't know, that's it. This is the four inch adapters. Or the GPG.